who can afford to right. drive a yes. bloody And the mini SUVs SUV. are on fire. <laughs> Sales of those are really going like gangbusters. Yeah, Todd, I hear you chuntering away in the background there. Let me tell you, <laughs> I filled up my Chrysler Town & Country van the other day in New Jersey. I topped it up with, I just topped it up, five gallons. I paid $7 cash. Can you beat that in wow. Chicago? That's pretty good. Listen, I filled up my big pickup truck that holds 30 gallons. And I filled it up for $42. So I'm, I'm with you. And listen, cheap money and cheap gas will continue to drive it. Now, you know, they're still giving away these 0% financing deals, trying to drive money, which that effective rate of 0% is really 6 or 7% to the average consumer. So it's a nice boom for Ford, and that's going to continue. As long as we have cheap gas and cheap money, the sales will continue to grow, but the stock isn't really growing. Okay, now, Ford, you own it, Mike. I do. And you like it and you think it's going to go up from here. You make your case, please. So Ford pays a great dividend, first of all, you know, in, in the mid 4% range. But the stock's made a move down from 17 down to $12. The key is buying it down here at 12 or even in this $13 range, you're, you're getting a company that is going to get bigger margins because of these SUV sales that you talk about. Mm -hmm. SUVs, bigger trucks come with bigger margins. That goes right to the bottom line for Ford. I expect the stock to be a great performer for 2016. And you get the dividend while you wait. Uh, you also own and like, for the future, Facebook. Make the case. Facebook is really an ad story in my mind at this point. We all know about the users. We all know about the growth in the company and that it has two, almost 2 billion combined users using the, the uh, app. But the key is ad dollars. If you were an advertiser, Stuart, do you want to place an ad in a magazine? Do you want to place an ad on television? Or do you want to target me directly through Facebook? I think yeah, the, I the advertisers point. are coming along, and I think that's going to help the company skyrocket. First trillion dollar company. Everybody's looking. Wait, wait, wait. First Ooh. trillion dollar company? I believe Facebook will be the first first trillion dollar company. That, that, that would be, huh. Facebook would have uh, to go to at least $200 a share. It would have that. to go up about threefold from here. Wow. It would have to be a $300 stock for, to, right. to get a trillion Bar dollar company. Bar splits. And you think it's going up there? I, I think it has the best chance to be the first. Apple's the highest oh. uh, market share we've ever seen, about $600 billion. I think Facebook has the best chance to be the first trillion dollar You want to company. give me a time frame? I think it's a great company to buy even at these levels. And if you look in this pullback we've had, Facebook has held up extremely well. I'm just intrigued that it might be the next big take, uh, technology. True. Up and comer, runs the table, just like Apple did a few yep. years ago, then Amazon did last year. You th uh, is there a chance of that? Facebook, you think? I think That's the there. next? It's there already. Okay. Interesting. Um, quickly, you like Bank model. of America? I'm sorry, wait a minute, Todd, what do you say? I said, I said Facebook's a better model than Apple. I think mm. he's right. I mean, I don't know how fast it's going to get there, but the overall model, it's a consumable ad. You keep going back to it and back to it. It's not a phone that you're buying, you hold. I think that their model is great. I think they're going to make a lot of money, and I think over time, they're going to be very successful. Well, we knew you'd come around, Todd. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we got a headline for the day. Uh, uh, Facebook becomes the first trillion-dollar company, says Mike Murphy on this first day of March 2016. Uh, 